episode, I'm going to be showing you my new Shopkins toys. Now, one of these I got, I think either in my stocking for Christmas or Valentine's Day or something. But then this other one right here, Mom just got for me this game here. So we're going to show you what they're all about. Now, I collect Shopkins, as you guys know, but I was really excited to see that they have other toys of Shopkins as well. It's so much fun, guys, to collect this stuff. So let's get started. Okay guys, so the first Shopkin toy that we're going to go over and review is this one right here. It's called the Pop and Race Game. And it would remind you of the game Sorry. If you've ever played that game, this one is very similar. Now we love that game, but this one is Shopkin, so of course Lammy likes it even better, don't you? Of course. So, basically what this is, it's a two to four player game for ages five and up. Um, all ages could pretty much understand it. And there's four different colors. There is the pink, yellow, blue, and green. And each person gets a color. And I'm just gonna open this up and show you what to do. All right, guys, so I zoomed in a little bit. So basically, here's the game board, and there is a die in here that you go like that. You push down on that, and it tells you how many spaces you can move. And then we have these little pegs, which are the colors that go on the board. So, Lammy, of course, would want to be pink. And what you do is you put the little pegs in the starting position, which is around the edge of the board. And I'll be the green just because it's close to me right here. And you each get four little pegs. Then what you do is you take turns and you have to pop that. So it says that Lammy, Lammy, do you want me to move for you? Yes, please. All right, so six, so you take one of the pegs, it could be any of them, you take one and you go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you stick it down in there. Then I push it, I only got three, so I do one, two, three, and you just continue around the board. Now I'm gonna speed this up for a second. Why, why can't we play? Lammy, it would take too long for them to watch us play this entire game. Oh, all right. I'm just trying to show them the premise of the game. So anyway, pretend Lammy did enough things and she gets back over here and say she's here. Now see here, let me hold it up to the camera. All right, so see here where it says home, H-O-M-E? Basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your pegs up into there. So, five. So Lammy could go one, two, three, four, five and get in there. Now the point of the game is, is to get all of your pegs up into here and the first one to get up in here wins. So that is the premise of this game. It's a lot of fun. I love it, Lammy loves it, and um, it's just a lot of fun. It's a good game um, and it's easy to learn and easy to play and uh, it's just cute. And of course we love how there's all the different pictures of the Shopkins on here and it just makes it cute. So anyway, that is one toy that we have. So this is a good game to play. Like I said, it's two to four player game. And so I'm gonna move this over and then we're gonna move on to the next thing, which is kind of like a craft toy. Now Lammy received this for, I can't remember, Lammy received this for Christmas or Valentine's Day, Lammy? I think it was in my stocking. Okay, yeah, it might have been in her stocking. So basically this is bead beados and it is magically join beads with water, basically, and this is the shop conversion. So what it is, is you put these little beads down onto this mat, you spray them with water, and they stick together, and then you've made your own little Shopkin thing, so they look like this. So uh, yeah, we're gonna open this up and give it a try. It comes with 200 beads, no heat, no glue, and no mess. So let's get started with this one. All right, so first things first, you take off the top and we're gonna dump it out. We're gonna see what's in here. So, all right guys, so let's dump out this little baggie so we can see all of the goodies that we have. So first up, we have this little instructional booklet and it tells you exactly everything that you need to do 
to make these little Shopkins. So basically you put the design template on the back of a bead tray and then you put the colored beads according to the pattern and then you spray them with water and then you slide the template under the dried bead design to remove it from the tray and then you can attach little eyes and that's it. You've created a Shopkin with these little beados. So it's very cute. There's design tips and things on the back. And then here are the little patterns. So we have a few of them right here. And there's another one. I like this one a lot. And yeah, and so then this little thing right here shows you where you would put the eyes. So here is the bead tray. And then basically what you do is you stick the design underneath the bead tray. So that way you can line up the beads to make the design. All right, and then here's all the different colors of beads that we get. These are the little eyes, and then we get all of these different colors of beads, all sorts of them. And then here's little little uh, designs too. And then we get these little things. I guess these are little stands for you to display them when you're done. All right, Lammy, you need to come here. And then it also comes with a little spray bottle so you can spray them with water. Lammy, come here. What's up? Which one do you want to make? Um, I want to make that hamburger. This one? Yes, yes, I like that one a lot. Make that one for me, Mom. Okay, get back. All right, so, Lammy wants the hamburger made for her. So, I'm gonna move some of this stuff out of the way so I can work freely here. So you take your little bead tray here and you take the template and you stick it down like that. So that is the template, right? So you just stick it in the back. So now if you can see here, these little raised area, the beads sit down inside these little holes and this tells you where to place the beads. So I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see me do this better. All right, everyone. So the colors that we are going to need to make this hamburger will be the orange beads the red beads, green, the brown. All right, so those are the only colors we need. So I'm going to start with the orange ones. All right, guys, so I poured some of the beads out, so they're just, they kind of get all over the place, so be careful with these in your house, and make sure that your pets or small children do not get to them. You don't want them to choke on these and eat them. So basically, I've got my little orange beads right here, and I'm gonna start taking them and putting them inside the template. So I'm going to go through here and do this, and I will be right back. All right, everyone, so I've done the top part of the burger so far, and now I'm getting ready to do the green, red, and yellow. So I need three of the green ones. So this is like the lettuce and the ketchup and the mustard, I suppose. Hey, guys! What are you, who are you talking to, Lammy? Talking to the kids! All right, all right. Hey guys, do any of you know which Shopkin this is? Like what this Shopkin's name is? Because I have no idea, guys. It's a little hamburger, that's all I know. Guys, leave me a comment below and let me know which Shopkin this little burger guy is. I don't know his name. All right, guys, so I'm gonna continue on and I will be right back when we're getting ready to spray this with water. Okay guys, so we have finished our design based on the template that's underneath. So now it says to hold the water sprayer um, a little bit of a distance away, spray five to six times so the water evenly covers all of the beads of the design. Then it says you gotta wait 20 minutes for it to dry before removing it. So we're gonna sit it under a fan to try to accelerate this but I'm not gonna make you sit there for 20 minutes. The magic of editing will fix all of this. So anyway, guys, I am now going to spray it. Lammy, you wanna spray it? No, I want you to do it, Mom. I don't wanna mess it up. Okay. It says if you spray it too, here's the little, here's the little spray bottle that it comes with, guys. It says if you spray them too much, it means that they'll take longer to dry because the water makes them stick together. It also says not to put these in your mouth and to make sure you wash your hands after using them. And uh, yeah, so let's just uh, spray this thing. Oh, there it goes. All right, I'm spraying them. I put them on a plate, guys, so that way the water would um, not get all over the table. 
So I'm just going to spray from this side as well. And I don't know if I've sprayed too much or too little, but there you go. And what it happens is there's like this jelly coating on the top of them and then they stick together. So there, I think that should be enough. And we are now going to let that dry and we will be back when it is done. 20 minutes later. Alrighty guys, so it has been 20 minutes. So they should be dry. So we're gonna take this little thing right here. We're gonna stick it underneath. Ooh. Oh, it slid right off there. We're supposed to stick it underneath the beads and pull it off of the template. And there we have our Shopkin. Now, it comes with eyes. It comes with these little eyes that we're supposed to stick in here. Let me see if I can do this without breaking it. Alrighty, guys. So there is our little Shopkin with the beados. Haha, <laughs> yep. I think I put the eyes in a little crooked, but that's okay. Uh -huh, that is pretty. Mom, thanks for making that for me. Now we can make the others. The only thing I don't like about these things is the drying time. Uh, that you have to let it dry for 20 minutes. But other than that, they're really cute, so we can set them up and display them with my other toys. Anyway, guys, have you ever used Beedos? Have you ever made the Shopkin Beedos? Let me know in a comment below what you think and if you'd like to do this. I will be posting more videos, guys, so be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. It is completely free, and uh, it'll alert you whenever I post new videos. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my social media. Those links are in the description box below. I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. So anyway, guys, give this video, video a big thumbs up if you love Shopkins, because I know I sure do. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.